kids, it's Mrs. Davis from Happy Place to Grow. Welcome back into my channel. I am so glad you're here today. I've got something special planned for us. It's a little crafty, a little creative, and it involves your name. Now you know that we have been enjoying some books together from my favorite author, Kevin Henkes, and recently we enjoyed this one, Chrysanthemum. Remember this cute little mouse character? She loves her name. It was given to her by her parents because she was so special when she was born. They had to choose the just right name. When she went to school, however, some of her classmates were not too nice. They were making fun of her very long name and it made her feel really bad. And we learned from that story that your name is special it belongs to you it probably has been given to you for some special reason and we decided we were going to research and ask our family members why we were named the name how did we get our name we also learned that our name has a special meaning and we should Take that journey to find out what does our name actually mean. Remember, my name, Stephanie, meant crown or a garland that goes around your head. So, your name is you. It's special in honor of names, in honor of our name. We're going to do a special art project together that involves our name. Now, you're going to need a few items so... I'll be here when you gather all of these things. We'll be ready to go. Number one, you're going to need some tissue, not the kind that you blow your nose with. Some gift tissue. So I know this is probably something that your family members have around the house. So ask mom or grandma or dad to gather you some gift tissue. I have a few colors here. I always keep... You know, when people get presents, I'll say, oh, do you want your tissue? I'll take it because I know I always love to do this art project with my students at the beginning of the year in honor of my new students that I have and their names, and we love to create. So, gift tissue, white glue. This Elmer's white glue is appropriate for this project, but if you only have stick glue, that will work too, but this is best. And then something to put your glue in. Now the last most important thing is the part that may be something you have to work out. If you have a computer and a printer, then you're going to have to get a family member to help you create your name. You want it to be full of space in between the lines because that's what we're gonna be filling in. I like to tell my students, I call these like bubble letters because they're, they're like puffed out. So if you don't have a printer at your house or a computer, a way to print your name, don't fret. You can still do this project. You can make the lettering yourself. I'm gonna show you, um, just grab some paper. Any kind of paper will do. I happen to have this art paper that I was working on my uh, drawing notebook. I folded a sheet in half. It has a little glue on it. I like to work with a smaller space of a rectangle. And my name is really long, Stephanie. So I'm going to shorten it to Steph because that will make it easier for me to fill in my bubble letters. Now, I like to start um, by forming my letter. My first letter starts with an S. And then I'm going to go back around my S. I'm going to start here at the top. And I'm going to just travel back around it. I kind of need to make that a little more puffy. So I'm going to go ahead and just... Not worry about that extra line there. And then I'm going to make all capital letters. So if I make the letter T, I'm just going to draw a straight line. And then I'm going to pull down and then come back in, but not close. Remember, I'm creating bubble letters. I'm going to shorten 
my nickname is Steph. So I'm going to do a letter E, start with a straight line. E's are kind of easy to make bubble letters. And then you would think Steph has an F, but it's actually the PH together. P and H together make a sound. That's kind of a, a good phonics skill right there. Okay, and then I know that's a step, but remember PH together make the F sound. And there we go. It's not perfect, but I can fill it in and it is my name. So again, if you don't have a printer, a way to print off, you can make your own. If this didn't work out for me, I've got lots of paper. I could keep working. All right, now I'm gonna wait right here. Go gather those items. Remember, tissue, gift tissue, white glue, something to put your glue in. And then, of course, most, most important, you need your name, Bubble. All right, I'll be right here when you get back. All right, kids, hopefully you were able to gather all of your materials. Now, with the tissue, you're going to want to take this large piece of paper and make it into smaller squares or rectangles, smaller size. And you can do that by cutting. You can get an adult to help you cut it up. If you don't have any scissors or you don't feel like cutting it, it doesn't really matter. You can take a piece and just rip it into smaller, not too small, because then it'll take you forever to fill it in. So. Get your tissue prepared. I always like to go ahead and put my white glue in a container. You can put it on a, a, a flat paper plate or even a paper scrap, it's fine. Now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be filling in the bubble spaces in between those lines. We don't want any white showing. And I've already started on this one this was a student from my class who was named after a family member. We did know that. And I went ahead and started filling in the S. My S is similar. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Grab a piece of tissue, scrunch it. This is kind of fun because you get to scrunch it and dip into the glue, generous amount. And then just pop it into, you want to be bumper to bumper. I like to say bumper to bumper. You want to be really close to the next piece of tissue, but you don't want to go out of the lines. So this, this is a project that's going to take a little bit of time. It's going to take a little effort. It's going to take some arranging and some really careful placing and it's going to be one that you're going to probably want to take several days on. Usually my students, when they're working on this, they take a whole week to do it. They'll come in in the mornings, sit down before the bell rings, and then all of their stuff will be out on their desk, and they'll just work on it bit by bit to fill it in. It is, an, it is you. It's an extension of who you are. It's a special art project, so why not take your time and do a really wonderful job? And you don't want any white spaces to be showing. So you want to take your time. And you want to just scrunch those up. Now, a couple things that you're going to run into with white glue is it's going to get on your fingers. And my students always want to get up and wash their hands, but then they're going to just turn right around and get it on there again. So I just say kind of just after you're finished, just kind of if it's bothering you, just kind of rub it. And eventually that, that glue will just kind of dry and rub off. It'll just kind of roll off and it won't feel wet and sticky. So that's the downside of white glue. Some of my students got creative and they got problem solving uh, in their, um, they just problem solve. And they would actually put the glue on the paper. You don't need a whole lot. You don't want a glue swimming on here and dripping. Just a little dab will do you. And they would go ahead 
and put it on their mane and then scrunch and stick. And there was less chance, they still got it on there, but it was less. So either way you wanna work it if you don't like that feeling. Um, so you're gonna keep on filling in this name art. It's gonna be puffing out, so it's gonna be three dimensional. And here, dun, 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 will be the finished project. And here it is. This is one that one of my students made years ago and he did such a great job on it. I said, Caesar, would you mind if I kept this to show future students how to do it in an excellent way? And he said, I'd be glad to share my art, Mrs. Davis. So he did such a great job. He took his time. He stayed in the spaces and there it is. Now remember, your name is special. It's who, it's part of you. So if you make this name art, it's gonna be worthy to be displayed in your room or somewhere at your house. It's just a special art project that's very colorful and very you. Amazing, just like you. All right, kids, I want you to work on your name art. Have fun while you're doing it. Maybe it can be a family project. Maybe everyone in the house can make a name, a name tag, colorful, puffy name tag. All right, remember, you are special. Your name is special. You're valuable. You're wonderful. So be proud of who you are. Don't let anyone else assign you value. You decide what's special about you and love your name and love who you are. All right, until our next time together, be colorful, be artsy, have fun in life, and love your name. Okay, as always, until our next time together, have a good one.